Hey everyone, this is Ara Derdarian of the HT Guys, and today we're taking a look at the NVIDIA Shield. Uh, we're looking at it with the eyes on turning it into a video server. And for that, we're going to use Plex, the Plex Media Server, which comes pre-installed on the Shield. We got the basic Shield uh, products. It's a 16 gigabyte version. It was $199 at Amazon. We also picked up um, a Western Digital My Passport Ultra external hard drive to store all the content. So we're gonna go through the steps of putting this together. It, this is not going to be a tutorial how-to. There's a lot of um, content already out there. This is more of a analysis. Will this thing work as a video a server for you? We'll talk about some of the installation, but um, we're not going to go heavily detailed into that. So uh, we'll go, we'll open up the box and take a look at what's on the inside right now. All right, so there's everything out of the box. It, there's not much to it. It's incredible that the passport device is really small. I, I mean, um, I'm amazed at what how small of a package they can put a three terabyte hard drive in. This is USB 3.0. And um, I remember some of the first drives I used when I built the video server, I had a terabyte drive and the thing had an enclosure that I think had a fan in it. Um, so amazing at that. And then the passport itself is really thin. And there are the uh, ports on the back. You can see that there's um, ethernet connection, HDMI out, uh, there's gonna be power. And of course, the USB uh, connections for the um, for the hard drive. It's kind of interesting looking. Um, it won't take up a lot of space in your home theater se setup, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. Then there's the the controller. Now this is a game. Um, it, 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 you can use it for games, and that's the controller that they gave. I would have rather used the. Um, there is a remote control you can buy for another $50, but I, I didn't buy that, hoping that I could use my uh, my simple control remote to control the system. But if not, then I'll use that uh, game controller. The Shield comes with a lot of applications already installed. It has Netflix, Sling, Hulu Plus, Pandora, a uh, whole bunch of others. Plus, it also has the, um, the Plex application, the Plex client which makes it a really good box, uh, makes it better than the Apple TV and the Roku's because you can have both the server and the client running on one box. So it's very convenient uh, for use uh, in the home. So what we'll do now is we'll put everything together and we'll see what it takes to get the content on screen. Now I'm gonna co copy my um, content over to the hard drive. I'm not going to uh, go through the step-by-step, -step. just assume I copied all my uh, movies onto this drive and uh, you'll do the same if you're setting this up at home. We're looking at the NVIDIA Shield installed in my system here. Uh, now I just kind of put it in there, so excuse the wires uh, that are visible. I copied all the files, uh, all the movies that I had on my other system onto the hard drive that you see on top of the uh, center channel right there. I've gone through the connection and uh, so now what you see is that I am ready to go. Well, so we'll move forward. As I said, this is not going to be a um, how-to, just kind of documenting the steps that we're going through here. So I did have to log into my Google Play account. There was a firmware update that needed to be done. So that's all been done. So I'll hit continue here off screen. And uh, you know, like I said, I'll just document the steps as I go along. So I'm in the process of uh, setting up my Plex media server. And to do that, you have to, you'll see on the bottom left, there's an enable Plex media server. Um, you can, you don't have to do this if you don't want to run the server on this box. The, the NVIDIA Shield is a Plex client as well. So if you've got a computer or something on your network that already has Plex, uh, you're good to go. But for this um, process, we're going to you know, the whole point of this is trying to see if we can use an NVIDIA Shield as a movie server for, you know, as well as other things, but primarily a movie server. So you want to make sure that you have this uh, checkbox set and uh, we do. So we'll keep going. And hopefully when I come back, we'll have a media server with all kinds of content running on it. Okay, so the setup is complete, but to do that, I needed to go to a computer and log into my Plex account, uh, connect uh, to the server, and then tell it where the uh, media was. And in this case, it was uh, connected to the, the uh, Western Digital Drive. And then I just pointed to the movies folder and said, go. 
and then it started cataloging all the content. So I've not been there. We're going to go log in right now. We're going to launch Plex and then see what we got. Okay, interesting. I think that I was on a search or something. All right, here we go. So navigating with the uh, controller is, is a little bit difficult. So we can do browse and by movies. And then here are all the movies alphabetically. So it's still in the process of, I guess, getting con um, media art and whatnot. So let's take a look at 22. Jump Street, sorry, 22 Jump Street. Oh, see, I hate this uh, remote control. It's the game controller. So I think the dedicated remote will work a little bit better. And likewise, I'll probably end up using my, um, my Boxy. So there is the art. This all came automatically. I didn't have to do anything. I guess you can play a trailer. Let's play the trailer. And I didn't have to have this trailer or anything. It just found it and is playing this over the internet. And we'll go back. So let's go hit play. And I've got everything um, set up with um, MPEG-4. So this, what what I read was it'll do the MPEG-4 really well. So if you've got your content already in that mode, let me hit pause here real quick. Uh, Cause it's a little loud. So if you've got your content in MPEG-4, everything should work well. The, um, I guess it uh, doing the MKV, like from uh, Blu-ray, it can do it, but it, I think it has a hard time doing multiple streams. So you may be able to uh, watch a main stream. I have not uh, one stream on your main TV. I have not uh, tested that at all. This was just about how quickly I can get everything up and running. It didn't take very long at all. The, um, as I said, the stuff is already MPEG-4, Dolby Digital, Dolby Digital Plus pl has no problem. Uh, what I'll do next is see how many simultaneous streams I can get going and then I'll, I'll come back and uh, we'll discuss that a little bit. Okay, so I ended up getting um, four videos going. Um, I could probably do more here. Let me scan down here. I got an iPhone, a laptop, an iPad, and I'm also running it on the NVIDIA Shield itself. Uh, on my television. I could probably do more, but th those are all the uh, devices I have. But again, because the content was already converted to MPEG-4, uh, I think this device works, the NVIDIA Shield works a lot better with that. It is There's less for it to do in the transcoding. Um, I got Dolby Digital coming out of the, um, the one on the television, but again, that's just passing the uh, bitstream through to the receiver to do the decoding. And um, so far, I'm liking the device, but it um, it's a little awkward to use with this remote control. The um, the interface is just beautiful, to be honest with you. Um, and and I hit the wrong the volume button there. You can see that that just this remote control is kind of awkward. But um, all the album art is there. Um, you click on a movie, and then you get the um, the information go down reviews extras and then they sort by um you know more with the actors who are in there and uh it's actually a very impressive interface um i wholeheartedly recommend getting the nvidia shield as i said it costs 199 dollars and what was it about 75 80 dollars for the three terabyte hard drive and you've got yourself a full-blown movie server and I'll tell you, uh, people may argue, but I think it rivals the Kaleidoscape. Um, I'm sure a lot of people won't like hearing that, but um, you can put this on your, um, you can put, you don't have to have the Nvidia Shield connected to your TV. You could put it somewhere else and just use it actually as a server, but why not use it as a TV? Because it also has, let's go to the home screen. Um, all these other, you know, has Netflix. Um, I believe you can get other apps. I, I haven't even downloaded them, but we got Vudu. I'm sure there's Hulu and whatnot. But um, 
great system. And then again, in your rooms with televisions, you can just put um, a Roku, uh, Amazon Fire, or Apple TV, which, whichever one you want. They all have Plex apps. You can use your laptops and your iPads. So um, it took all of about 25 minutes to get set up. It works beautifully and uh, wholeheartedly recommend it. So anyway, if you like the video, please um, you know give us a like. You can um, support the show by going to htguys.com slash Amazon to do your Amazon shopping. Uh, a little bit of uh, the whatever you buy doesn't change the price, but uh, any of the um, um, whatever you buy gives us a little bit of a commission and that helps us with the show pr producing these videos as lame as this video was. I apologize for the quality. I just kind of put it together real quick. I wanted to, uh, you know, we try to describe these things on the show, but the uh, picture's worth a thousand words. Um, let's see, you can reach us via email at htguys.com. I'm uh, sorry, htguys at htguys.com. And um, let's see, website htguys.com. Uh, on Facebook, you can follow me at HDTV Podcast. Same on Twitter. So with that, thanks a lot. And uh, if you got any questions or comments, please send us an email. And thanks for thanks for watching.